How are you? This is Geraldine. I'm back with another rant try. Man, I've been out for me run. I came back and I went on Facebook. See people on Facebook. First of all, see the young ones. Love, I don't care if it's your only day off this week and your young ones that and are getting sick all over your kitchen. I eat me breakfast. I don't need to know that. Or that checking into Temple Street. Me little angle isn't well. Look after the fucking child. Get off Facebook. And then checking into that fucking sitting room with that angle eating the curry and then the next night they're out. Ah, Baba's gone. Gonna get into an aircon bundle. The whole checking in thing annoys me because you're putting up all these pictures of what your fellas at and I getting you. Then you check into your sitting room. Then you wonder where you get burgled. Stop. And then they say the quotes. Don't fucking get me stuck. You have to kiss a few frogs before you come across your prince. Now let me translate that for you, Tracy. That's basically you putting up a start saying, Dave, text me back. I'm up all fucking night. Where are you? And then, can I ask, why are lists a thing and mass isn't? Why is mass gone and them lists are still up? You know the lists. You know them. That the lists are, say, top ten girls that deserve a bottle of wine tonight. All the girls on the road think it's hilarious. I think it's stupid. Do you know what? I think I'm actually going to start the list. If I was any way good at that photoshopping, I'd do the top 20 girls that need to get the fuck off Facebook. I'd name all the girls after all, they'd be fucking disgusted. Definitely going to do that. See the articles as well. Articles. You'll have them and it'll be like, top 20 reasons why you don't have a good sex life. And you have to click into it and go through loads of ads. And it's a load of shite. And then these 20 reasons uh, did relate to me in no fucking way, shape or form whatsoever. I don't have a good sex life because my fella has a head like a bag of spanners, that's why. And not clicking in, wasting all me time. Or Dipley, where you have to do 10 fucking pages you have to do to find out the answer and it's a load of shite. And then you have people sharing Waterford Whispers News and Breaking News 365.net thinking they're fucking real. Are you tick? Somebody put a thing up on Breaking News 365. A fella from Leash is after killing a granny with a jackhammer and made his cross road shared it. She was, that's disgraceful. I got sick of writing under people's things saying that's a fake website so now I just go along with them and I go, oh, fuck that's shocking. Jesus. On the other side of things you have the experts in the comments. I saw a video of a husky giving out to his owner about a day or something. It was hilarious, right? Went into the comments. I don't know why I do it because it's the same every time. That person's not fit to own that husky. Look at the body language on that husky. That husky is scared. I'd love to reply to them. I don't. Because I'm not into the whole negativity online. I d if you've nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. That's my belief, right? But I would. I'd love to turn around and say, uh, are you feeling better about yourself now? Has your comment made a difference to that historical event? Then you have the fuckers that post essays. I mean, you have to click see more. To see the end of the fucking status. It's that long. Not one full stop. Not one comma. Not one capital letter in the hashtag to differentiate the different words. I'm looking for the C translation button. And can someone please tell me how to turn off the such and such has gone live. Can I turn that off? Life is better without that. You just need to take Facebook with a pinch of salt these days. Everybody on it is real fake. Gangrene toes by a pill. My Monday is better than yours. Shut up, Leslie. You won't be saying that when you're back in the credit union next Monday trying to pay the fucking thing off, will you? Or now you have all the fitness families. Phyllis is always putting up pictures of herself in her gym gear. I said to her, Phyllis, what you me in? She goes, no, his name is Mark. Ticks, swear to God. That's all I can think of right now. I'll probably be back with another one of these to so stick around. Generally, you now, peace.